Mechanical tension is the true driver behind muscle growth. But what is mechanical tension? Think of mechanical tension as a type of pulling force. The fibers experience a pulling force when they are trying to shorten, but are resisted in doing so. This force increases as the shortening velocity decreases, and it is then when the muscles experience high degrees of mechanical tension. This is due to the force-velocity relationship that says that the force-generating capacity of a muscle is predicated by contraction velocity. So as you get closer to failure, there will be an involuntary slowing of contraction speed. No matter how hard you're trying to move the weight, it is during these reps when the greatest amount of cross-bridging occurs between the functional proteins in the cell, which are known as actin and myosin. And this is how muscles produce force. This is also when the active fibers will experience mechanical tension. Now, some misinformation that continues that there is more mechanical tension due to heavier loads, which isn't true. Light loading to failure causes similar amounts of hypertrophy as heavier loading to failure. But mechanical tension exists on the force velocity curve, not on a heavier light loading curve or an exercise selection curve. It's also a myth that certain exercises cause more mechanical tension. Mechanical tension also isn't something that is accumulated through volume. It is simply something that the active fibers experience via that force velocity relationship. When there is enough stimulating reps performed with mechanical tension, then we can maximize muscle growth due to the biological processes that get kicked off by the mechanical tension that the fibers have experienced.